always fun, always fun to try to center me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I think I'm talking about how to create the sacred. I've done um, actually probably like 10 art projects at Burning Man, eight of which have been uh, deep playa shrines. The most recent one I did was called Deep Playa Shrine Number 63. That was uh, yeah, just a few weeks ago. And they're very simple. Um, this last one was big enough for a couple to cuddle together or three people to have a conversation. And made out of uh, copper, wood, and fabric that um, has been accumulated by paint over time. And what, what's really kind of cool about it is when I, when I come into the space, they give me a little spot in the ground and they say, here you are, this is your GPS coordinate. And for me, the key to sacred is the core is love. If you find that sort of moment of core, if you're building a shrine or a temple or anything, just sort of find that core of love of what it's about. It could be just a beautiful moment. It could be whatever. But from that seed of love, whatever you're going to build is going to grow. And uh, it'll work. It'll be really amazing. The first one I did, I built it. And I usually leave a little notebook. and and check it every day and, and walk it and, and, and sort of set up an intention, a very intentional space as a safe space. And um, I came back one, one morning and somebody had written on it, this is not art. And then somebody had written on the next panel over, I just had the most amazing playa sex in your space, thank you. And I thought, all right, I have achieved <laughs> this. <laughs> this, this is a beautiful space that honors, honors the moment in the space. And um, so for me, that was, that was creating the sacred space of where somebody could feel safe enough to, to be with, with somebody in, um, in a magical place. And so uh, I took a class in Earth in the Sacred several years ago. Um, and part of the conversation was about morphic resonance and exploring when you have a top of a hill that the Druids used, followed by maybe a Roman temple, followed by an uh, Episcopal church, that the people using that space create the sacredness of it by using it over and over and over again and being in that space and approaching it and praying in it, that, that the, the, the Continuing to hold that space by the people involved is really what creates the sacred in for that moment. And dogmas can change, and power can change, but the same spaces are used over and over and over again. And that's the resonation of what the core is. So recently, I've been really exploring the sacredness of trees and the sacredness of of being being with things that are alive and listening deeply to the divinity of of something that's alive and i have found that that the sacredness is everywhere if you just listen so yeah it's a good way to end that one i um I've been working on a piece, and I, I'm going to share. Um, this is a space-setting monologue from a uh, from a piece I've been working on. So I'm going to share it now. The remains of Shakespeare's globe are here in this space. Campfire becomes sacred in spaces deep within our DNA. We create sacred place with ritual dance. Sacred becomes temple. Mythic stories of our dream world, from from divine songs dear to our hearts. Temple becomes stage, soul-filled reflections of our psyche, hidden by masks of our divinities. Stage becomes spectacle. Our heroic tales fill the arena, gather dark dreams, worship the flame. Spectacle becomes fire, up and down the helical spiral stairway to our animal past and our ethereal future. Fire becomes embers, ashes of civilization, 
erode until the spark of sacred ignites Paleolithic campfire. Embers become ruins, ruins become sacred, until the land is eroded into the seas, and then the dolphins will find sacred space to swim, and they will call it theater. So that's my sense about sacred. Thank you all.